from the footprint center in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Super middleweight division. Jaime Munguia taking on John Ryder, who's 35 years old and said, if I don't win tonight, I'm walking away from the sport I love. Jaime Munguia coming off a fight of the year performance against Sergey Derbyanchenko. Getting right back into what could be an all action affair as well as he takes on John Ryder, who showed a lot of resilience and toughness against Canelo Alvarez, especially in those later rounds, Mannix, where he almost gave as good as he got. Look, he did, and I give him credit for going the disc with a great fighter like Canelo Alvarez. Now my question is, what did that fight take out of John Ryder? What did taking that type of punishment in the ring take out of him physically and mentally? And first to make his way to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner from the UK, here is John Ryder! Representando Mexico, here is Jaime Munguia! As for Jaime Munguia, he knows what could be next, but you can't get to next until you deal with now. Canelo may be next. John Ryder right here tonight in our main event on DAZN. 12 rounds, super middleweight division. Ryder has to attack off that. Nice right hand and a left from Munguia. Ryder, as you mentioned, Barry, trying to throw between the punches. Straight back into the action. For the record, John Ryder has only been stopped once. That was back in 2015 by Nick Blackwell for the vacant British middleweight title. Good right hand there from McGee. Caught him again and sent him down in round two. It was a beautiful straight shot. He set that up by bending his knees. Mugia caught him clean with that straight right hand. And we're going to find out what John Ryder is made of in a situation like this. Trying to hold on desperately is Ryder. But Mugia wants another knockdown here in the second. Great start for Mungia. Ryder trying to inch his way back into this after going down in round two. Oh, nice uppercut there by Ryder. He's on his toes, bouncing. You feel like he's settled down. Oh, and he's down. Speaking of settled down, he gets knocked down for the second time. Round six, scheduled for 12. Trying to start off good in this round. Yeah, good job there, and again there from Ryder. Right there, but he's then pushing Mungia back, landing shots Ooh, like that. Good stiff right jab. Round nine, scheduled for 12. Whoa, and that went straight on the button. Big shot by Hami Mungia came around with an overhand right. Ryder didn't see that coming. Right on the top of the head. Ryder doesn't look good now. Can Munguia close the show? Can he do something that Canelo Alvarez couldn't do? Can he stop John Ryder, who goes down again? And they refuse to throw the towel in, but they want to stop the fight. Oh, big right. The referee says they're ringing the bell. They're stopping it. Canelo Alvarez, are you watching? Jaime Munguia has just stopped John Ryder. He's 43-0 with 34 knockouts. That was a statement win and a beatdown by Jaime Munguia. Forces John Ryder's corner to throw in the towel, stop this fight. That's how you turn heads in the super middleweight division. He did what nobody else can do, and that's knocked out the gorilla. Still, the WBC Silver Super Middleweight Champion he is still undefeated. He is still the pride of Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. 